All right, YouTube, what's popping? Quick fucking public service announcement. I don't care if you're rolling, rolling, or fucking smoking bowls. You need to wash your hands before you roll your weed. Take the 30 seconds to go wash your hands real quick. All right, folks, now, now that our hands are clean, we'll go ahead and start grinding up the weed. So this one, I kind of, I feel like it's a little like bit of half and half, you know? Like you want a little bit of your weed broken up and then you want a lot of it. You know, still grind it at the same time. So like a little in between, you know? I literally just like grind it like halfway. Whatever's left in there, you can just grind it up. You know, we got the hemp wrap. It's that high hemp with CBD. And it comes with something to pack your weed down. That's pretty nice. It's gonna be a little, it might be like a little stale sometimes. Sometimes these are stale to be honest. You know, just be gentle with them, you know? Some people lick them. I, I just like, you know, put some breath on it, you know? Just breathe on it a little bit, you know, just to get it, get it moist again. Yes, sir. Now it has a little more shape to it. Yeah, just flatten it out a little bit. You want to get that little boat shape, you know? I like to use like either a card or you can just use um, something like this would be okay. Always check your weed, make sure there's no stems because a stem could really fuck up your whole roll. You don't want to end up, fin you know, just finish rolling the whole thing and then and then you got a big ass hole in your blunt, you got to restart. Now before I put the filter, I'm going to get the shape. So if you don't have the filter, it's still the same technique, you know. You want to make sure your weed's even. Don't stress if your weed falls out. Just get a nice shape out of it real quick. You can feel it, you know, fucking. You can feel when you're getting that shape in, like that cylinder shape. And you should be able to feel if it's uneven. But definitely try to have an even roll. The more even your roll is, the smoother it's gonna burn. So just get that back and forth motion. And you can even stop and you know take a look real quick and I, I can already see right here that it's uneven so I'm gonna try to break that up a little bit and if this is your first time rolling you don't really roll like that at all it's gonna take a lot of practice and take your time Especially if, if you're just starting, you know, it's gonna take a while. That's okay. Get back in there, try to fix it. And this is it. Fucking, what's nice about hemp wraps is I feel like they don't rip as easy, but you still have to be careful. And you want to slowly, you know, get the edge a little closer in. So you're going to start shaping it and getting ready for it to roll. And that's it. You just, as long as your shit's not uneven, that's all that's important. And some people, I, you can tuck from the middle if you're not using a filter. So you're going to tuck in with your thumbs and then go over. Ooh, hold up. Time out. So right there, that should almost fuck my roll up. Hold on. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can roll from the from the middle if that's easier. So I'm gonna readjust right quick. That's it. And your goal is just to get the whole thing under. You see what I mean? That's your goal right there. Have all your weed in there and just tuck it. Give it a good lick right there. Damn, all my weed low-key fell out on the ground. And take your time making it stick because hemp wraps are kind of really hard to stick for some reason. Like you can see that shit's not sticking, hold on. Yes, sir. Now you just want to pack it down a little bit. 
and it's hard. To, I don't know if it's just me, but I have a hard time making hemp wraps look nice. I think if I put more weed, it would probably look a lot nicer, but this is just a little something small. It's just a little something personal. Nothing crazy. Just make sure you're not packing it down too tight either. And don't, um, don't rip your blunt while you're packing it either. And now you just need to stuff both sides. And then once you're done, uh, you can just squeeze the filter in there just like that. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for tapping in, man. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. Have a blessed week. Try and do something productive after you smoke your weed. I like to give give it a little massage. If you feel it's getting too tight anywhere, just try to, you know, give it that, that back and forth motion like when you were rolling it. Because you can feel when it's getting a little too, cl like, clogged up in one side. And that's going to make your blunt trail also. This is the only thing good about a rolling tray is because look how much weed fell. That's crazy. Imagine if you had carpet and, all, you know, all that weed, just, that's just gone. You're not getting that back. I mean, that's really it. Once you get your tuck, you're good. Once you get it sticking. Honestly, at this point, I feel like I don't even need the filter. But if you wanted to Like it don't make that much of a difference. Honestly, I could have rolled with it or without it. Either way, it's the same technique, really. The cool thing about hemp wraps is it already has like a shape to it. It already has more of a shape to it. And there you have it. If you want to stuff your weed all the way, you know, do what you got to do. But that's it. Nothing left to do but smoking now. All right, thank y'all for tapping in for real. Hope y'all have a great 420. Y'all know it's my favorite holiday. Yeah, I fuck with hemp wraps. That's fire. Appreciate y'all, man. We're almost at 450. 450 subs. Appreciate y'all, bro. We're gonna do something big for 500. And it's for 420. You know we gotta come out with a video on 420. Shout out to the Wii box too that hooked it up with the hemp wrap. No cap. I got a discount code, I'll leave it in the bio. Yeah, that's fire. Appreciate y'all, man. Stay blessed. Have a good 420, man. Be safe. Until next time.